All right, here's a unit conversion problem. It says express the concentration of a 3.51% NaCl solution in terms of molality, mole fraction, and ppm. Okay, so to start off with, we have 3.51% NaCl. So what does that mean? 3.51% all right, we assume this is mass percent since it's not uh, otherwise indicated. And this will be 3.51 grams of NaCl per cent per 100 grams of the solution. Okay, so let's just do these in, in uh, sequence. Well, actually, let's not because parts per million is what? Um, parts per million is grams of the solute over grams of the solution times 10 to the sixth. Okay, so it's just like percent except times 10 to the sixth. All right, so we already have those units. Uh, to get ppm, uh, all we do is take this and multiply it by. 10 to the sixth, okay? Um, uh, since this is uh, divided by 100, that uh, makes this times 10 to the four, and so it'll be 35,100 ppm. Uh, 35,100 ppm. Okay, so converting between percent and parts per million um, is really quite straightforward. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take this now and convert that to molality. Okay, so molality is um, moles of the solute per or divided by uh, kilograms of the solvent. Okay, so what is the solute and the solvent? Well, the solute is NaCl, and the solute, I mean the solvent is, well, we'll assume it's water. Okay, that's the most typical. Um, and uh, so, <clears throat> how many moles per kilogram of uh, water, how many moles of the salt is there? Right. So here again, we must uh, start with our um, expanded form of the percent. You see, we have grams of NaCl. Okay. So it won't be hard to get that into moles of NaCl. Um, we just divide by its molar mass, and then we have grams of solution. We need to get that into grams, or rather kilograms of the solvent. Okay, so uh, first of all let's look at that solution part. Um, we know that the mass of the solution is equal to the mass of the, uh, well I'm going to put it in specific terms, the mass of the NaCl plus the mass of the water. Right. <clears throat> so, if I have 100 grams of solution, what this is saying is that 3.51 of those 100 grams are NaCl. Okay, so in 100 grams of solution, 3.51 are NaCl, so how much is water? Well, 100 minus 3.51 is 96.49. Okay, so let's, um, uh, you know, we have grams here. So now, now that we have uh, the mass of these individual components, we can um, uh, work this out to get um, the, the water, the mass of water by itself. Okay, so... Um, all right, so let's look at this. 
uh, 3.51 grams of NaCl. Okay, and it's well, and I'm gonna go ahead and divide this by the 100 grams of the solution. Okay, and we can get the uh, molar mass of the sodium chloride from the periodic table. And um, if we uh, look there, we'll find that sodium is 22.99 uh, grams per mole, and cl chlorine is 35.45. Okay, so we add those together, and it looks like we have about uh, 58.4. Four. Okay, so that's grams per mole. So 58.44 on the bottom, so that our grams of NaCl will cancel. Grams per mole. Okay, and uh, now we have moles of NaCl on the top. Okay, and that is uh, what we're looking for moles of the solute. So now we need kilograms of the solvent, okay? We have grams of the solution. Well, that's where we go to here and we say, all right, well, I know that for 100 grams of solution, 96.49 uh, grams are water, okay? So I can put that here as... Um, uh, sorry, this, I'm going to have 100 grams of solution. Okay, running out of space here. And 96.49 grams of water. All right? So the uh, whole thing, 100 grams of solution will cancel. And I'll have... Uh, moles of sodium chloride per gram of water. So I just need to convert that to kilograms. We do that by um, dividing one gram to 1,000... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not thinking right here. One kilogram to 1,000 grams. Okay? So we'll just divide by 1,000 and that will convert our grams of water to, uh, of course I did this the back, backwards way, didn't I? Because it's on the bottom, so I need to flip this around um, and I'll be multiplying by a thousand instead of dividing. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, put this in the calculator and what we come up with, 3.51 divided by 58. 4, 4 divided by 96.49 and then uh, times a thousand and we end up with 0 0.622 um, molal okay because that is uh, the moles of Na CL per kilogram of water.